So just scrying the aether of Max of Maz, and I'm immediately seeing before me just a bunch of dots, and it's like they're all following falling into each other uh, towards the center of this of the spherical formation that they're in, and <clears throat> sort of returning back out in and out. Sort of um, some of them are following simple harmonic emotion, but most of them. Um, are sort of going every which way, sort of like um, you could imagine an irregular orbit. And I'm being told that simple harmonic motion is sort of the one of the more ideal states, but it does sort of lack, I'm being told, a dimensionality, um, an ability to navigate across the different dimensions of existence, of the mind's existence. And so... <sighs> I'm just being bidden to relax. I'm once again feeling this upward pull of energy. It's starting off slight. It does tend to increase as the vision goes on. And I'm seeing, once again, a dragon. This is the light side of the dragon as opposed to the darker side, the death dragon of the, um, of the Aether. So this is like Falcor, if you can really think about that wonderful dragon from Neverending Story, and yeah, it's sort of um, spinning about in a bit of a corkscrew shape, and it's encouraging me to step on and ride it, and it's taking all of these different dots with me, and so all of these dots, one can think about this being likened unto the hearts, the human hearts. And so what I'm seeing is I'm being, as a drag, uh, riding the dragon, I'm being taken through a wormhole, beautiful colors all about me, and uh, as, you, as wormholes have been animated. And I'm taken to the other side, and again, this dragon is sort of doing a very long loop, and I'm taken off the ride to observe this long, um, circular loop and it's like this energy is sort of he's he's continuing to speed up about this sphere and it's like the dragon is sort of saying he's like the heart of god not quite the heart of god but like the heart of god in that it's sort of this force of the power of the divine heart to reconcile things with itself so therefore, all sentient beings' hearts in this way really are within like this, these parameters that the divine heart sets forth, and this is the force thereof. And he's saying, this is sort of reminding me of the, I think it's Phanes, the deity, uh, Greek deity, uh, the snake wrapped around the egg. I could be incorrect, but I believe that's an Orphic symbol. And, and what I'm seeing is, it's got kind of this golden glow to it. So this is reminding me of my friend Cody P's talk about the a, a golden leaf. It's got that same kind of vibe to it. And I'm seeing the into the eyes of this dragon and there's like these very um, colorful eyes. So when I have done additional work to um, develop the my personalized Enochian system, one of the things I noticed was that the Aether of Lil uh, had these multiple colors, these rainbow-like colors to it, but only when I was calm. So there's something about this dragon and the eyes that it's looking at me with trying to get me to be calm. And I'm being told that this is what all um, sentient beings that this dragon is trying to drive um, so that there's a great, there can be a greater reconciliation, he's telling me, with the divine heart. And I think that's about it, but he's uh, making a mark on my heart as an infinity symbol and, um, and thus sends the vision.